Hey guys, I wanted to make an update on my sagittal band surgery and uh, how my hand is doing now. Um, I had surgery on August the 4th and that and today is October the 21st, which puts that about almost three months since I've had the surgery. So I had shown in my last video the brace that they put my hand in, the thing that looks like a little gun and, and uh, all the wrap and all that stuff. So since then, they transferred me from that brace to a slightly less restrictive brace. And I don't know if I have pictures or any footage of it. If I do, I'll insert it here. And so I, I went through that and I went through occupational therapy for, I want to say I went eight to 10 sessions <clears throat> and he, he gave me exercises to do. And I'll try to film the exercises and kind of show you what I did throughout that process. But um, my hand is back to pretty normal. It still feels like I had surgery. You can see, let's see, you can see that scar right there. Yeah, it still feels like I had surgery. But, and I don't know if you can notice, look at that middle finger tendon. That's, that's the one right there. So you see how the tendon here goes straight to the knuckle, right? It's directly aligned over it. That's the way they're supposed to be, straight to the middle of it. Now mine and that middle finger, it kind of is off to the side a little bit and it pulls to the center more whenever I buckle down. You can see that, you can see it sliding right in here. So it's a little bit pulled toward my ring finger and centers up whenever I get it down, but it's, it's working well. And I've been using it quite a bit and I've been playing guitar again and doing other things work and type and doing finger dexterity stuff. It works fine. It just feels just kind of weird. So it, I'm glad. I mean, I'm happy that the surgery was successful. My surgeon likes it. Um, my occupational therapist said that I'm doing fantastic. But I do have a couple of quirks, and uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so what he had me do was, is I had to put a heat, basically, it's like a, a, a bag that's full of rice, and I microwave it, and it gets really hot. And so I put a heat source on this, this right here and just let it sit for a good five minutes or so and warm the tissue up. And then for this scar, so that it wouldn't adhere... I had to do these pulls like this. So this, this skin's really, really loose. And then the closer you get to the scar, the more it wanted to bind up. So you want to pull on that. And I can't stress, honestly, how important this part is because if you don't pull up on that, it will stick to the tissue underneath. And then every time you try to move your hand, see that piece right there, that little scar piece there? It's wanting to stick and pull. That's why it's turning white right there. It's supposed to just cluster up, but it's kind of stuck. This spot here is kind of stuck to the tissue underneath. The rest of it's doing a lot better. You can see where the stitches were there, but you're supposed to massage it like this and twist, pull up on the skin and uh, kind of roll it a little bit. And you're separating that skin from the bottom. And then he wants me to circular rubs on it here. I did a lot of that. I sometimes felt tension throughout here too, so I would rub into where it started out of the knuckle there. And then side to side, so he'd have me press and hold. Look at that thing's getting red as the beat. Press, kind of hold, five minutes or so, other side. And I've been doing this stuff. I do this stuff pretty much all day. I'll do it in my in-between time whenever I'm looking at my computer or idle time or whatever. Hand wants to be flat and pressed on something so that it rests and you're not using this ligament at all, this tendon. So look at that thing, man, that's as red as can be. But I'll tell you what's happened is, is this, all this here has, you can't feel this, so the nerves are kind of gone. But I noticed playing guitar at the very front of this surgery, which would be about right here, I could feel, it's not pain, but it felt like a little small pin prick in there. So I mean, I guess it is pain, but it's slight pain. I mainly feel it when my finger's in this kind of shape, like when you're holding your phone and it's this angled, I would feel it in here. It's where your finger gets kind of tense, but they think that it's probably just nerve endings coming back to life and I'm feeling a little bit of it, or 
you can massage in here and I can feel some of the stitches still in there. I feel a little bitty, almost a BB in there. And they're supposed to be dissolving, but I don't know if it's not completely dissolved yet or what. I'm not sure. It doesn't really hurt. So I just kind of massage it a little bit. Feel it, I can feel one right there. And that's about where I felt that pin prick. So she said there's a good chance that one of those stitches, uh, the tip of one of those is sticking into me sometimes. And that's probably so, because I've been using it and I can make a complete fist. And you see that tendon up there, that ligament with those two dots on it. I don't know what that is. That might be a part of the ligament that was already there. Tendon, I keep saying ligament, but I don't know. I'm not complaining about it because it's working. And I can totally play guitar again and use it for everything else. So, so far, so good. I did call her and ask her about that slight pain. And as I told you before, what she said, and uh, she didn't seem concerned about it. She said, do you still have full range of motion? I was like, yeah. And she said, is there constant pain? I said, no. And she said, it's probably part of the normal process. Just let me know if anything gets worse. I've been putting uh, aloe and vitamin E lotion on that to make the scar look a little bit better. Typically, it doesn't look as red as, <laughs> as it does right now. It's because I've been doing all this. But so far, so good. So I forgot to mention something about the physical therapy, too. I had these um, foam squares that he wanted me to grab and just kind of squeeze them as hard as I could early probably midway through my uh, occupational therapy visits, and then little bit thin strips that I'd put between my fingers and squeeze, 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 and just get the hand all used to that stuff. But I went through that fairly easy. Having played guitar for so many years, I think I had a lot of left-hand independence. I'm right-handed, but I'm left-hand dominant, I guess, because of playing guitar. But, um, so I, and now I've graduated to, I still have one, it's a rubber ball now. It'd be kind of like a, it's not a stress ball because it's pretty firm, but I just squeeze it really good and get a, a really strong grip in that ball and squeeze the hell out of it and make sure that I can, and it feels fine, um, I can do that. I just wanted to show you a little bit of, um, I can still play my... So none of that hurts. All of that feels natural. I, I feel the there's always a presence of something on the knuckle that is uh, I, I'm just going to have to learn, I guess, to ignore because that tissue in there reformed and remade adhesions and all that kind of stuff. But um, thanks to everybody who's asked about this and both on, in my videos and in real life. And I'm very happy for the support. I'm very grateful for it. And so far, so good. I don't have anything negative to report about it other than strange feels and sensations in there, but that's probably normal. If you guys have had this sagittal band surgery, uh, comment down there and, and tell me about your experience and how long it took for you to feel like you didn't have one, if ever, and uh, maybe therapies that you did and things that you wished you had known earlier. The thing that really I would say that I wished I'd have known earlier, that separation of the skin to pull it back and forth and wiggle it around, do that often. As soon as they let you do that, do that because that'll keep that tissue from sticking to the top. So all that tissue is kind of underneath and your skin lays on top. And just like with here, see when I, when I, when I, if I put my finger here and raise up, it just bunches up. It doesn't stick. So that tendon and all the suspensory webbing that's called the sagittal band just slides under there. But with mine, it's, it's binded a little bit. And he said that it may not ever be fully unbound the the less is better because whenever it binds it pulls your skin up so whenever i do that see it's pulling it's pulling this area tighter <laughs> it's pulling this area a lot tighter than it would normally it would give it some some uh leeway so maybe i'm stretching that skin and i'm i'm sure the skin will just stretch to accommodate it and it'll feel normal but it does feel a little tight because of that it took me a good before I could make a fully closed, because at first he was gauging how far I could do this. All right, I had OT, and he showed me to make these first, these movements, which are pretty easy, and then baby wave, as he calls it.
fist as far as possible until I feel that tension in there and then stop hold it for 10 seconds which I feel that tension there this is actually pretty far I could only get halfway this far yesterday and then let it back up for 10 seconds And first it was just this. This was the first range of motion. And then the second range of motion was this. And then he measured that. He actually had a caliper and measured the angle. It got better and better. And then could I make a full fist? And then he measured actually the angle down in this finger and all the way across the top, he measured all those angles. And to do this took, I, I'm, I'm telling you it was probably until our first week of October. So that's recent. So I, I, it was probably a good eight to nine weeks before I could make a fully closed clenched fist. And then recently until I could make one that's very strong and feels very, I can just squeeze the shit out of it now and it's okay. Now I even now I feel tension, I feel tension up in, in, in the outside part of it. And I think that is because since they sewed this side together again, that it pulls a little harder on the other side. So there's probably gonna be a slow stretching process there too. So I don't wanna make this video super long. I just thought all this information would be helpful to you guys. Like, share, subscribe, we'll see you next time.